Hi everyone, Felix Yage here, and I'm with owner and operator Maggie of Painting with a Twist, and I'm really going out to all the local businesses, small businesses in our community, and really just finding out more about them and why you're here, what start, why you started the business, and so tell everyone a little bit about you and about your business. Okay, I'm Maggie. I am the owner, as Peter said, the owner operator of Painting with a Twist Mount Laurel. It is a franchise, um, fully independently owned franchise. So any art that you see that we do here, we you can do anywhere in the country. Um, I started this because I was a patron of Painting with a Twist and got an email last summer saying that this location was available. And I just thought, gee, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Now this was during the pandemic. It, during the pandemic, yeah. So, so, so why? I mean, the time. Obviously, the, the timing, timing was good. It's just the universe aligned itself so that we had um, some equity to put down on the, the franchise fee and mm. to do the upgrades, and it just all kind of fell into place the right way. Now, in your in your heart, what was it about doing art and that? factored into this uh, getting painting. I, I love tools. painting. I'm not, a well I guess now I am a professional artist, but I've always painted and drawn and have taken classes throughout my lifetime as a child all the way up to an adult. And it's been kind of put to the wayside. It's something I do once I retire, like get more into it, but this was an opportunity to blend mm -hmm. at that perfect if you do what you love, you're not really working. So yeah. this is perfect for me. I love interacting with mm. people. I love teaching. And obviously I love painting. So it's yeah, a the, blend of everything. Yeah, what's great is that um, there's always a heart to all small businesses. And uh, so the, uh, I'd love to go a little bit deeper in the heart of it. And what is it about art, the expression of it, and uh, for you that keep has you doing this, but back in the day when you started it that really connected with well, you? Well, back in the day, um, my grandmother, Alice, was an artist. Um, I was the only one she would allow in her studio to watch her paint. I wasn't allowed to ask any questions or get involved, but as a small child, I could appreciate the process. So I learned a lot through that. And then when I was 11, I started taking private art lessons, just on Saturdays. Really enjoyed it, saw potential, but never really um, was, a, I'm going to say, allowed to go ahead and do that as a career because, you know, parents being parents, I said, you're never going to make money doing that. Here you are. Here I am, Here making I... money, do well, almost making money doing that. Well, you know, starting a small business yeah. and keeping it going right. uh, is extremely challenging. And this is why I'm fascinated by those of you that started your business in, during the pandemic. Right. It was just the opportunity, and I feel so badly for the former owner that she had to let it go. Um, but um, it all aligned and mm -hmm. I am able to keep some of her staff was they were willing to stay on and get rehired by me and they are fantastic and I wouldn't be able to do this without my team. Yeah, because it's not just me, it's yeah, just my it team. Yeah, it never is, it never is, right. And they stayed on and the artists and so uh, share with uh, other people who may not know uh, what painting with a twist is. What's the big idea about it and then uh, Maybe, then we'll talk about how people get participate in this. Well, the, it started actually during a crisis. Um, Hurricane Katrina hit Louisiana, and the two founders um, needed something that was like a carefree escape from their everyday lives going through the rebuilding from Katrina. Mm. So they said, wouldn't it be fun if we could just paint and drink wine? And then Painting with a Twist was born. And it developed into a franchise, so I think we have over 250 across the country mm -hmm. right now. So it was born with that idea of not painting, and the idea isn't, you, you do come away with having a nice painting at the end, but the idea is just having a carefree escape and an experience that you can share with your friends, with your partner, with your family, with your kids. With your coworkers, I mean, anything. You it's know what's cool? Great. It's cool when uh, we're right next door. Donato yeah. Karate, we're right next door here, and I'll hear the parties. I'll see people coming in and going with their artwork, and there's always laughter, excitement. Mm -hmm. The youth, also, I've seen the youth. The other day, you had a whole group of youth coming in. Oh, I yeah. saw that. I thought it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I love this idea of painting with a twist. Right. I love that. And people get relaxed, they get together, and I really escape I mean, right a lot of times we all want to escape exactly and so how can someone uh, participate what how does it work as far as 
Well, it works a couple different ways. We have on our calendar our public events mm -hmm. that anyone can sign up for um, online. It's the easiest way, or you can call the studio. But easiest way is to go online, reserve your spot. Um, we have events usually starting Wednesday all the way through Sunday. Friday night, Saturday night is date night, so no kids allowed because it does get a little wild in here. Um, not for um, the PG only crowd <laughs> sometimes uh, yeah. um, because it is entertainment and our artists. Um, and do we adults need that. Moms, yes. dads, grandparents, mm -hmm. we need that. Yeah, girls' night out, Love date it. night. Mm -hmm. And date night doesn't have to be with like your romantic involvement. Date night could be with your BFF. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a, a good time. I mean, we call it fun art, not fine art. I like that. So, fun if, art, not fine art. Right. I not like necessarily that. fine art. We do have those type A personalities mm -hmm. that come in and need to be perfectionists, or they are artists themselves, and they think. Now, uh, now, how long is a session? Typically? It's generally two hours. Oh, um, we wow. do have three-hour classes. Mm -hmm. Like our, we have a paint your pet. Mm -hmm. where you send us a photograph of your either fur baby, mm -hmm. feather baby, scale baby. Mm -hmm. We sketch it out for you and then you're led through how to paint that pet and you come away with a portrait of your animal. Um, those are three hour classes because they're a lot more detailed and more one on one. Wow. But now you have, and I know you have staff, so, mm -hmm. so these are all artists Yes. and they just guide you through it, they create. Right just the framework and yes, the sketching and, and yeah. you learn all this and right. have fun doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah, if it's a regular class, a regular two hour class, mm -hmm. if it's a person, animal or shoes, mm -hmm. we pre-sketch it for you. Oh, I see. If it's a landscape or a floral, we kind of guide you through how to make that happen because, you know, things in nature, yeah. um, like trees and things, they're all different. So you don't have to be led by us and pre-sketching it for you. but. We yeah. do lead you through step yeah. by step how to create Yeah, I love that. And, and, and when I see people leaving, they're walking. I mean, one time I saw some people walking out with um, elephants. Mm -hmm. The cutest thing. All these little yeah. kids were leaving mm -hmm. with all these elephants. Yeah. I think it was a girls group or something like that. Mm -hmm. I saw them walking by. Probably a birthday party. It was the funniest yeah. thing. They all had these little elephants. Mm -hmm. It was cute. And they were all giggling. Oh, like, yeah. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So you've already had are many people coming through. Yeah. So what are some of your memorable experiences as far as people really, um, because there's a connection, mm -hmm. they're escaping, yeah. and they're letting their hair down and just having fun. I mean, oh, it's just fun. It's the most memorable. We had, I think it was one Friday night, a date night, where this woman came in with her husband mm -hmm. and she was just angry. Mm -hmm. And her husband said, yeah, I'm not supposed to be here. It was her friend who was supposed to come with her. Turned out her friend, it was her birthday, but she was, you know, not ready to go out, like was delaying, and she said, we have reservations, we gotta get there. And her friend blew her off, which was tragic, so she was angry, to say mm -hmm. the least. And she said, by midway through the session, she's like, you know, this is so relaxing, I am just, this is exactly what I needed, Whoa. it was the therapy I needed to get through it. Wow, that's good, that's great to hear. Because I think of small businesses, there's a humanity, there's mm -hmm. human beings here, they're the owners, and this is your lifeblood. I mean, this puts food on the table, roof over your head, and warmth in your house, right. coolness in your house. And so a lot of times we forget when we look at small businesses that that people are connected, families are connected, right. and, it's, and the community. And this is why I love going out to small businesses. And I get goosebumps thinking about this and doing this because it's we're all working together. And especially coming through this experience that we had. And we, I was sharing with you that, you know, DK seats and Pride, we've been through three experiences. We had the the um, night was it 2008, 2007 crash. We had the 9/11, uh, and then now we have this pandemic. But we fought to make it through because we knew that we were needed in the community. Right. And so, what was your sense with with the pandemic and that filter of it? I know it was a, it was a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. Everything aligned. Yeah. Uh, but what was going on in your heart with all that was going on and can you share with Yeah, I think that? I also needed a happy space. Yeah. You know, so this became my happy space in my life. Yeah. It's not like it became yeah. like a, a because we're always talking about passion. Right. And you said a little bit earlier that you find something that you love and, right. and you earn a living with it and mm -hmm. that becomes your life, blood supports right. your family and also your heart. And like you say, you need it as well. Yeah. Something yeah. to keep you moving mm -hmm. forward right. because I know at the time everything seemed, you know, gloomy and 
dark and when are we going to open? Yeah, and who opens up? We opened our doors, I think it was December 11th. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So right in the middle. But thank goodness we were set up with, we have things called take home kits. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't want to come in, especially yes. with all this, we were 25% capacity at the time. Mm -hmm. So our classes in person were very sparse. But we had these take home kits where people could get everything they need to paint at home mm -hmm. and bring it home. Or if you wanted a party, we would do virtual parties. Very nice. So, and we'd have virtual classes. So yeah. it was kind of set up to work with the way mm -hmm. um, the restrictions were. Yeah. And, and it's very visual. Oh yeah. Very visual. So I can see that working nicely mm -hmm. in the helping out a lot. Oh, yeah. And so now capacity is 100%. Right. Right. And knock on wood. <laughs> no, knock on wood. Right. Knock on wood. And we're going to continue um, thinking in that direction mm -hmm. and really um, supporting that mindset right. and um, but everything seems to be going great yeah right and the best way for people to get a hold of you is the website the website the website um, you can just google us um, painting with a twist right. um, Mount okay. Laurel there are several in the country so in one what your location is Mount Laurel obviously okay. yeah I'll put the link right below guys so check right below the link will be there and also add the uh, phone number they can call as yeah. well and just call up to find out what the specials are find out what uh, services they offer and then get something unique for you guys. Yeah, we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. So we list and Google, um, we list our activities for the week great, on great. all those platforms so you can find out what's going on. I love it. Actually, all that will be right below for you guys. And if you've been here, please share right below uh, your experience and what you loved most about visiting Painting with a Twist and, and maybe even take a little a picture of your artwork and share right below. That would be great. That would be excellent. And guys, so I hope you come by, visit, and we're uh, tell everyone what, what our location is. We're in the ShopRite Plaza on the corner of 38 and Arc Road, 127 Arc Road. And right across the street from Prospectors. And we are in the corner. In the so, corner. Right and you'll corner. see us. Look for painting with a twist. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much You're for welcome. taking the time. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Good. I love all the artwork here. You yeah. have some artwork These there. These are all paintings that we're going to be doing pretty soon. Right there. Um, Babelicious up there. We're doing her Saturday. Babelicious yeah, right there. Saturday. We're doing um, the cow next week. We're mm. doing um, Strength and Pride. Oh, I like that. On right Saturday there. night. And the, no, I like the cow. The cow. The cow. Yeah. The cow. <laughs> Cowarella. Cowarella, right there, yeah. right there. <laughs> That's on a Wednesday. That, that'll be on a Wednesday. Yeah. That's yeah. great. All right, guys, so thanks so much for taking time with me. Remember, guys, go out, support local uh, businesses, and like their, uh, go to their Facebook pages, Instagram pages, their socials, like, share, comment, share it with your friends. But more importantly, our small businesses, we need revenue. So take their revenue and invest in our small businesses. It's the lifeblood for the small businesses. Thank you so much for spending your time. I'll see you guys next time. Thank Bye. You.